Ma never na se ma Pen Dream TV. Pen Dream TV di o si adam yopo. Meanwhile, convener of Fix the Country Movement, Oliver Bakavamo, says he will release the audio to prove the attempted uh, bribery. In fact, the updated news is that he would not release the video in consultation with his lawyers. that I was met with other Fix the Country conveners and other stakeholders. I want to put it on record that the meeting I am talking about happened exclusively between myself and the Minister for National Security. That the offer was made to me. I will release an audio into the public domain which will confirm that the Minister invited me to a secret safe house location that we should have an individual meeting between him and myself at which meeting he made that offer to myself. No other Fix the Country convener was involved in. Another secret meeting was held with myself and two lawyers representing Fix the Country, including the Minister of Finance, which was held. We have a recording of the entirety of that, uh, that meeting as well. But what I'm saying and want to be clear on, that a meeting, that a secret meeting was held between myself and the Minister for National Security at the safe house. And that he did request that I meet him, and I have a recording to confirm this. Right, and we'll speak to private legal practitioner Bobby Bunsen on this. Uh, good evening, thank you very much for joining us. If you could unmute your microphone, we cannot hear you. Good, good evening. Then thanks for having me. Right. Um, I'm interested to get your thoughts on the decision by the uh, Minister of National Security to sue him and also Barker's decision to say, I will not uh, make that audio available on the advice of my lawyers. Well, I, I, I think that um, a, an action in defamation is one of the avenues by which a person who thinks that his reputation has been muddied by untruth, by uh, with publication of untruth against him, can can go to have his name cleared. And per the statements that were made by the defendant in this case, um, every rights meaning Ghanaian would have wondered um, what the national security minister had in mind if indeed he offered that amount in this country in these times. When that one million Ghana CD, uh, sorry, dollars is not easy to come by. And so if the national security minister thinks, or as, as suggested by his suit, is of the strong opinion that he did no such thing, I think that it is fair, uh, from his angle to have filed the suit in the courts for the relief that he's endorsed on the rate. Now, if the defendant, um, has certain defenses available to him. If he thinks that what he said is truth, truth is a defense to an action in defamation. Um, he can actually contend that what he said is true, okay. and then that would render the action, um, um, would, would not let the action succeed. Okay. Now, the interesting legal question that comes out is whether or not, if this recording exists, whether the recording would be admitted as evidence in this suit. There, I know there are a lot of discussions on it as to the breach of rights of privacy of persons when you record them against without their consent. So if the only evidence that Mr. Uh, Oliver has, the defendant, is the recording of a meeting or conversation without the consent of, of, of Mr. Kandapa, whether or not that recording will be admissible in evidence uh, to buttress is his defense of the fact that what he's saying is the truth. And so we would, we would wait to see how it, it pans out in court. Okay. What difficulty does Mr. Oliver Bakavamo, for instance, face? Uh, because earlier he mentioned, I, I believe on Saturday, had said on news file that he was going to make it available. In fact, to some journalists, including Mr. S uh, lawyer, Samson Ayenini. And then later, you know, he came out to say that on the... And I remember on that very show... Gary Nimoko, who's a lawyer, was you know, sort of had given like a subtle threat about, you know, 
to be careful about recording somebody secretly without their knowledge. So what difficulty is he faced right now, given the suit that has come forward and his decision not to release it? But there, there are two things. The first one I mentioned is whether or not a secret recording of uh, someone would be admissible in evidence in this kind of action. I don't think that in our jurisprudence we have settled case law that um, says that if the person is actually saying my only evidence um, as a form of defense to an action in defamation is a secret recording, whether the decision of the Supreme Court in Rafael Kubaji and all those cases that speak about recording against somebody's fundamental human rights to privacy and, and as it, as, as it were, um, a privacy of communication and all would, would come to play. The second challenge that I think he faces, Sebaomo, is his credibility. Right. Um, you know, as, as somebody who is putting himself out as a leader of a movement to ensure that our, 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 our wrongs as a society are corrected, we all know that one of our major problems as a country is bribery and corruption. Okay. Um, not only is the person offering the bribery the one in, in who has uh, fallen foul of the law, but also the person who is, is, is supposed to collect it. And so if looking at the circumstances um, under which he began, Mr. Valmore uh, began his public engagements, um, if as far back as 2021 or 2022 or 2020, you have this kind of evidence or this kind of matter within your ambit, one would have asked, why did you not go to the re police to report? Why did you not make it public at that time and you are making it at this time? Okay. So I wish and I hope that indeed he has evidence to show that what he's saying is true. Other than that, if it turns out that it is not, then his credibility as a leader of such a movement or as a convener of such a group then is thrown into, in, into doubt. Okay. All right. The country where I come from, the truth is an irony. Just like animal farm, justice mean inequity. So who go say the truth? Who go say the truth? Christian cancer, silence. Islamic leaders, silence. Kings and queens, silence. Traditional leaders, silence. Oh, Google say the truth. We are the Mokas of Confuzi call. Now by Aria, why no better? We are the Mokas of Confuzi call. One does all Yaya, why no better? Who go say the truth? Who go say the truth? Oh, true, true, oh he leave it now, see what's a sister. Now your friend on a night and come as him. Oh, Nipa be over can I send ya? So I'm to one quiet over to a two. Everybody was afraid. And until I'm not to my cottage, I'm denying. Once my boy don't be one and I see. But who go tell the truth? Nanai, or say a man, Nanso be a person become wassam because everybody is afraid. Anya Safwe, Moaini, Aku Kudro for Nina Dalima, and who go say the truth? Obi <laughs> Who go say the truth? Abaya di bo te chino, ye di bi be bo nyande bi. Tachi sa udi oma o pipi numa, udi oma neva sha na fra fonsa. But who go tell the truth? Do you see silence? 
living journalist, silence so then who go say the truth? Right is right, wrong is wrong, no matter how you justify. You say you wanna get rid of corruption. Someone want to help you. Now the person become your target. Jobless, no, they mean senseless. Poverty, no, they mean useless. One day, then go resist. I'm not pending TV. Now, so far, so good. Say, open online portal, a work Ghana. Ah, you can share, you can follow, you can comment here. To my best of knowledge, without any biases, I'm pending TV.